Our native beech trees flowered last spring, and autumn saw a huge dump of beech seeds in our backcountry valleys. Mouse populations tend to explode in the beech forest with this new food source, and myself and Hans are keen on this early October trip to see if the trout are showing any signs of eating this new protein rich food. This woodshed was to show promising signs. We were hoping the weather in this beautiful valley would look something like this. Instead, we endured a tough first afternoon walk in and fished in heavy rain and cold, punishing winds. We quickly pushed on to the comfort of the hut to ride it out. While it's hard to remain positive with rain pounding on the hut roof, the forecast was for slowly improving weather, and even the possibility of some sun tomorrow. We can only hope that the river stays clear enough and crossable come morning. The rain clears towards dusk, and the clouds lift to reveal a fresh dusting of snow. The mountains take on a new menace under gloomy skies, and the temperature drops quickly as we set about getting the fire going for the long, cold night ahead. Sleep comes quickly as we drift off with fingers firmly crossed for better conditions tomorrow. Morning reveals a vastly improved day. We warm ourselves with a hot breakfast and it's with some excitement that we set off to see what the day will bring. A mix of sun, cloud and wind greets us once we hit the river. The low early season sun angle and intermittent light will make it tricky. But with the water running clear despite the rain, things could be a whole lot worse. It's not easy going, but we find a nice looking brown holding in about knee deep water. And Han sets up for a cast. It's bang on, and the fish oblige us by sliding over to eat the tiny nymph. Yeah, 
you have to go down with him. It's a powerful and determined fish, and he's set for a big battle. Baby. Whoa. <laughs> Eight pound fish in a three pound body. Yeah, that's isn't it? That's ridiculous. If you didn't hear that, he answered it's a, oh. about an eight pound fish in a three pound body. Oh, let's go down and have a look. Well, we've had a struggle for the first day. Got one fish. It was horrible blizzard conditions beat us back to the hut. But, um, First cast of the day, and we come up with an absolute snorter. Because look at that, buddy. Took a little nymph under a dry. Absolute pig. That's a stunning silvery fish that is certainly showing signs of eating mice. That is good and straight as you can. There we go, that's, that's just amazing. Okay, mate. There you go. On his way. Look at the back on that thing. It's just amazing. Well, I can tell you what, you were doing it a bit tough after yesterday, but bounced back in style. First fish was my new reel. I love it. That's nice. I soon follow up on Hans's effort with one of my own. As I said earlier, after a hard day on the on the first day where it was bitterly cold, the fish were being fussy as hell. Um, you picked up an absolute, absolute stunner, and this is just about of its equal. It's just absolute football. You know, probably looks almost twice the weight that it should be really. Anyway, look at that. Beautiful fish. Okay, away he goes. He's hooked up again. Really hard water to um, see them in the low sun angle, but we're picking them up. Been aerial a couple of times, hasn't he?
Jesus, what a <laughs> it's turning into a hell of a day, isn't it? That's um, three wonderful quality trout today. And we've had to go through a few flies and, and work on them, but these have been taking 18s. Little double chunks in 18s. Let's have a look, buddy. Wow. That's a beauty, mate. Okay, just one more little lift up and hold and then get him away. Yep, the way he goes. Boy. Nothing wrong with that fish. Righto, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality. That's awesome. Oh, well, next. The next one. You were up north. Yep. Hans is up on a high bank with a fish in sight and he's talking me onto it. As the sun has gone behind a cloud and I see nothing but glare from my angle. The sun comes out in the shot and shows the stark contrast in which the trout is able to be seen as compared with when it clouds up again. Turned around and the fly went down. Yeah. Then he kind of went down. Yeah, no. Yeah. I struck. Yeah, it was him. Oh. That'll be better. Going past to his right there. The intermittent sun is causing issues again, as we know there is a fish in this run, but we can't see him in the current low light. I'll have a look, see if I can see him. The sun soon pops out and makes the cast an easy one. Further out to the right now. Not too bad. Go. Yeah, right on, mate. He was further out to the right. Well, it's not on the bank yet. So, been, um, been an hour and a half of um, a pool that where the fish have obviously been given a real hard time. And uh, keep feeding around all our flies, occasional look, nothing. Finally found one in, sh in shallow fast water. And um, one fly change. Oh, he's a good fish. Get down there, mate. had a bit of a hard time that fish. Well he had a good time, it's giving him a hard time. It's like having too many carries. It's another piglet with a distended bum from the likelihood of ejecting mouse frames and fur balls. Ouch. Eight and a half. I can pull the net apart. Another one. Little um, carbon copy, copies of each other. Big, fat, ridiculous. Trout. Pretty nice, eh? Okay, mate. Uh, what a pants. They are, eh? Happy man. Well done.
It's my turn, and glare from my position is making it tough to see this fish. Hans is guiding me from the bank. I look back with a quizzical look, thinking how crazy is it they'll only take size 18s. You can't put the pressure on these tiny wee flies. Just over seven and a half. <laughs> How's it look it? It's got a five pound body. What? Five pound body. Oh, if that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. We're sort of mission achieved now, I think. We've, um, Got the sort of really quality fish we wanted to get. Probably the smallest of the day, still over seven and a half pound. And look at that. It's just it's a snorter any day of the week. And the smallest out of six fish so far is just incredible. Oh, well, back he goes. See you, fella. <laughs> Doesn't get much better, eh? We've spotted what looks like a rainbow, and Hans sets up for the cast. Yeah, it's good. Right there. Ooh. Okay, I'll try it again. Yeah, it's good. That's out to his left. No, he's not looking at it. He's still feeding well. That's over now. Nah. Good cast. Over him there. The small dry dips. Yeah, well done. As the fish takes the trailing nymph much tighter to the bank. And there's a boat. Fucking complicated boat. Ooh. Rainbow, eh? 
complicated game. Get your neck. Yeah, he's a fat bow. Oh yeah, he's, he's fat. He might be, might be eating rodents too. One way of doing it. Well done. He can leave the net on the ground and try to pull him over it. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not a bad fish actually. Yeah. Slightly surprised rainbow. You called it as being a bow before you um before you hooked him though, didn't you? Yeah, I've seen coming up and seen the reddish chicks. Oh, I'll just zoom in, that's beautiful thing up. And it's glorious, isn't it? Lovely. Hey okay, buddy. On his way. It's really fucking hard to see, that's for sure. Yeah, it was really hard. You had to, I had to look twice the first time I saw him, actually. Yeah, for a rainbow. Yeah. Well, everyone tells you rainbows are stupid. Yeah, not here. <laughs> Go. A quick cast at a fast water smudge sees me hooked up on a very solid brown. Five pound pippet, tiny 18. Um, I think I've got a long way to go. Yeah, don't even know what size he is, but bloody strong. It's already taken me down about 50, 60 metres right across the other side, almost in the backing. Size he is, but he's, if the other ones are anything to go by, he's pretty good. You believe it? Fish this size, five pound pippet and bloody eighteen flies. After a last searing downstream run where I lost contact with Hans, he catches up to find me with a wonderful fish finally in the net. Well, mate, it's, um, there's a few big fish around this year. Um, coming to target a couple on a rare moment off. Look at this beast here. Absolutely stunning. Let's give you a look at the other side. We get him away. Just a, an incredible fish, mate. Oh, due to go back, eh? Well, that's what we come here for. It's nice to put one on the bank. It's been a tough morning. To finish the trip with a trophy brown to the bank and a series of young, fit fish in incredible condition leaves us in a buoyant mood, reflecting fondly on the last two days as we set off for home. Good day. Good day. Mouse hunter. Mouse hunter. Yeah, Mouse hunter. Mouse hunter. Mouse hunter. Our minds soon drift back to those fleeting moments as we stop to admire and gently release the trout we've fought so hard to catch. Special moments that seem frozen in time.